Welcome to the Raspberry Pi Workshop Tutorials, brought to you by ModMyPi, BuyAPi.ca, and PyShop.us. In this series of videos, we'll demonstrate nine projects that could be made using the YouTube Workshop Kit for Raspberry Pi. These projects are a great way to familiarize yourself with the Pi's input and output functions, as well as creating programs in Python that we'll use to control the Pi's hardware. In this third tutorial, we'll expand our code to create two new programs to blink the LEDs that we wired up last time. We'll begin by opening the command terminal again and going into the folder we made for all of our code. Let's create two new files. This time they're going to be called three underscore blink dot py and three underscore blink underscore forever dot py. Use nano to open three underscore blink. Copy and paste your code in from whatever source you're using. see a small issue in our program. Depending on how we copy and paste, we can sometimes end up with non-ASCII characters which create uh, problems with the Python code. In this case, the stylized quotation marks need to be replaced with straight up and down quotation marks, which are the ASCII characters. You'll see that once that happens, the text after the print command turns bright green. So let's go ahead and correct all of those. Let's take a closer look at the code in 3 underscore blink. We'll begin as always with the Python language interpreter declaration. This section of text should be familiar from our last program. We imported the Raspberry Pi GPO, we set the pin numbering to the BCM system, and we configured which of the two pins we would set as outputs. What's new this time is importing the sleep command from the time library. This will allow us to take a pause in our program for a specified amount of time. It's used for the first time here. Sleep and then one in brackets refers to pause for one second. You can see that we're going to turn the LEDs on and off, on and then off again for a total of two times. Another new function this time is the GPIO cleanup command. This will clear away any of the settings for the GPIO pins so that when we choose a new setting in our next program, we won't receive an error code. So we'll exit using control X, press yes for save, and press enter to confirm the file name. Now let's fill in the blink forever code. In our Blink Forever program, we'll begin using a loop for the first time. By declaring while true, everything that follows here that's indented will keep happening until we press Control C to terminate the program while it's running. This will let us flash the lights on for one second and then off for one second continually. Let's run the three underscore blink program. Type sudo python and then the file name three underscore blink dot py. So our lights flashed on and off and on and off exactly as they were supposed to. We did still get a warning about a channel already being in use, but we shouldn't see that in the future. In fact, if we run it a second time, The 
program runs correctly and we don't see the warnings anymore. Now let's try the Blink Forever program. Whoops, I mistyped. Now we have our lights blinking on and off regularly, and this will just keep going until we press Control C. Thank you for watching, and please follow us on social media for more Pi projects and resources.